I came outside to film the intro to this week's episode and say hi to you guys, but it is so hot, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do it in another place. I wanted to make the intro to this week's episode very aesthetically pleasing, so I went outside and that just backfired because it was hot as hell outside. So now we're just gonna do it in the good old car with the AC on. But anyways, welcome guys to this week's episode of Don't Quote Me On That. I'm really excited for this week's episode because Roberto's coming. Did I see him four days ago in Boston? Yes. Is he coming again? Yes, of course. Why not? <laughs> I'm, I can't even believe that we did that. Like he booked his ticket on Monday and he gets here tomorrow which is friday so today's thursday i'm leaving the office right now i'm gonna go get my nails done because they're very overgrown i'm definitely desperately due for some fall nails i want to embrace the fall vibes even though it's not ever really ever fall here in miami it's not like yellow and orange leaves type of vibe we stick to palm trees over here but i definitely want to embrace just the fall vibes i love fall it's my favorite season um so i'm gonna go to the nail salon and then he gets here tomorrow morning. He has a bunch of things to do for his master's and I have to work tomorrow anyways. So tomorrow we'll just be all day at the office. At night we'll probably do something fun, like go to the movie theater or something. And we're obviously gonna be doing a lot of fun things this weekend. So that's why I wanted to start this week's episode today and carry it out throughout the weekend. Um, we're not only gonna be doing things just the two of us, like date nights and things like that, which we both love but we are both very like family oriented people we love hanging out with our families we're very like family people um so i'm really excited for that that i get to hang out not just with him but with him and my family they both get along really well like my parents love him he loves my family so i'm really excited for that for them to spend more time together and for me to hang out with everyone so that's what we're gonna do i will keep you guys updated as to what we're doing throughout the days and throughout the weekend, but it's definitely gonna be a lot of fun. So welcome to this week's episode and welcome to a weekend in my life. Roberto is meeting the office for the first time. Do you like? I do like. Do you like? Yeah, okay. No, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to put like 5 a.m. 3 a.m. Well, we're going to work. Today's outfit of the day for the office is this little brown top. It's by Brandy Melville. And then these white jeans, they're from Zara. Now we're going to go get some lunch. Hi you guys, it's the next day. We just got back home. I was super sleepy all of today just because Roberto got here this morning and I had to pick him up super early at the airport. His flight was at 5 a.m. so I had to wake up at 3. So I woke up like with him just to keep him company on the phone. So I was exhausted running on a lot of coffee. But anyways, we spent the whole day at the office. Roberto had a lot of things to do. 
and my dad and I had a lot of work. So we were very productive today. We went to lunch at that Chinese restaurant that you guys saw. This is how the nails turned out. I love them. We went for like a chocolate brown um, and then I put chrome on top so that it looks like, they look like chocolate glazed donuts. I love them. I think it's a perfect color for fall. I'm obsessed with them. But anyways, just got back home. My sister's here with a friend, with two friends actually. My parents, Roberto and I, like it's a full house. I'm going to cook dinner for us. Roberto wanted me to cook again since he really liked my cooking in Boston. I'm kidding. No, he wanted me to cook. So I'm making pasta. I'll show you guys that. We're going to have dinner. We're going to play board games with my family and that's it. I'm really excited that he's here and that we're going to spend the weekend. I am I'm exhausted. Like I want to go to bed. I hope hopefully we'll have dinner like pretty quickly and soonish. We'll play a couple of board games and I kind of want to go to the hot tub because I went to the gym the day before yesterday or yesterday morning and I went to this like boot camp class and it killed me. My legs, I am walking like a penguin. They hurt so much. And Roberto has this like really awful habit of just like pinching my legs, like squeezing my legs so that, I don't know, it like tickles me. Normally tickles me. Right now it hurts a lot. <laughs> so that's what we're up to. I just wanted to say hi really quickly. And yeah, so today's Friday. And tomorrow we're playing paddle at 10.30 in the morning. We're doing a couples match. So my parents against me and Roberto. So I want to go to bed early, get my good night's sleep so I can kick everyone's asses tomorrow, even though I've never played paddle in my life before. I think I'm gonna do a pretty good job. But anyways, that's what we did today. Now we're home. I just wanna like take a nap. <laughs> Dinner with the parents. Hello. Hello. It really looks really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a flash on. Crazy. Anyways, today's Saturday. We, we were supposed to play paddle this morning, like I told you guys, but it was absolutely pouring rain. So we didn't end up doing that. We just chilled at home for a little bit. And Mama, que se bajó? Se fue allá. Oh. Hagamos un negocio, Roberto. Metemos una uh -huh. lata de agua. And then uh -huh. it kind of like stopped raining sí, for a little bien. bit. So we went to the con, hot tub, este the pool, hung out, but we didn't end up playing paddle. ¿Cómo? And ¿Cómo then sí? we chilled o sea, at home. Un fondo like acá? actually, we were at the pool for like three or four hours. Now we're going to go to dinner with otra. my parents. <laughs> um, to one of my <laughs> favorite. <laughs> it's the same restaurant <laughs> that we go to every single time. During the episode, same restaurant. We love it. Sí. Sí, sí. It's like a double date night because <laughs> it's my parents and me and Roberto. Sí. It's como con la Coca Cola y todo esto. But yeah, I just want to update you guys on everything that we did today. Shots de agua. And then tomorrow, no. Sunday, I don't know what we're going to do. Because apparently it's not just rain today, it's like a tropical storm. Another one. There was a hurricane last week. We left Florida.
the same deviled eggs I get every single time. I don't know what to I do. I think he's just I had an exam to look tomorrow just and like I freaked out. We broke up I'm pretty sure meal. she was talking shit about things. I ought to get a dog like you do from my bed today. But uh, they make fun I of me. I wish I feel tired of the time and standards. Things. And yeah, that's what I would do. Just don't quote me on that. Okay, so today we're talking coaches don't play, which is honestly one of my favorite categories to talk about. Just relationships when you're young, in your teenage years, romantic relationships, friendships, good guys, players, and talking about good guys and players. That's what we're going to talk about today because I don't know why recently I've had multiple conversations with different people about this, just like the good guy versus the player and how often we choose to go for the player. And then when the good guy comes along that actually wants us, we don't want the back and they're cringy <laughs> and I'm not going to like try to unlock the whole psychology behind why we do this and why this happens but come on this has happened to all of us at least once where this really sweet you know really good guy good looking smart nice great person comes along and tells us they really like us they really want to be with us in like a serious relationship you know they're not playing with us they're actually serious and they text us all the time they tell us how beautiful how smart we are they're calling they're like they're there and we're like ew like that's so cringy like please stop talking to me but then we really always just go for the guy that doesn't want us the guy that maybe just wants to get with you for a little bit the player the notorious fuck boy like why do we do that and like i said i'm not going to like unlock the whole psychology behind this because it probably happens to multiple people for different reasons but it happened to me growing up it for sure happened i remember there was this one guy when i was a teenager in high school this man liked me for four years okay for four years he never gave up he was like he was always texting calling like really just wanted to be with me and like actually be with me and I was like no way <laughs> like no way Jose I don't want you I was going for the guy that didn't want me and I think it happens because 
a lot of us are very used to that. That's a very familiar feeling of us liking a guy and them not reciprocating that. So we have to like, in a way, like prove to them that we are good enough and sort of like chase them a little bit. I think humans, both men and women by nature do like a little bit of that chase, especially guys, but girls in a way, like we also like that little chase, you know, we don't like things just being too easy for us. We like having to like fight a little bit for that guy. I don't know why, but we do. So I think it's part of human nature to just want that little bit of a chase. But the point is that we turn down the really sweet and good guy and then we never give them a chance and we block them and we're like, ew, cringy, stop texting me, stop calling me. And I just think it's because it's unfamiliar territory for us. We think like it can't be that easy, you know, like, what do you mean you just like me like that? Like, I don't have to fight a little bit. I don't have to chase you a little bit. Like, that's it. You're handing yourself to me in a silver platter. Like, what? So it's an unfamiliar feeling and we get like weirded out by it and we never end up going for that really good guy that wants us and we stay stuck on the player and we think naively like I'm gonna be the one that he falls for I thought that so many times growing up the major player I was like I would try to convince myself like I'm gonna be the girl that he falls for when that guy has a girlfriend it's gonna be me like I'm going to be the girl that he falls for. And that never ended up happening because they didn't want a serious relationship. They just wanted to mess around a little bit because they're young, hormonal teenage boys. And then the guy, like the one I just told you about, that would have actually been a sweet boyfriend, always turned him down. Always turned him down. I actually got annoyed. I was like, stop calling me and texting me. So I get it. But at the same time, I think that that is sort of a little bit of self-sabotage. We think that we need to fight for that guy. We think that we need to prove ourselves that we are good enough and that they should want us. But we're holding ourselves back from that good and genuine relationship that we could have. So like I said, I'm not really trying to like, un- hi, Caleb. Hi. Caleb just got here. But anyways, like I said, I'm not going to try and unlock the whole psychology behind why girls do that and why women do that. But the point is that we do. The point is that we do turn that really sweet guy down. We don't like it being that easy. And it's confusing in a way that they do like us. It's like, what do you mean? Weird. Going to turn him down. But the point is, and the conclusion that I came to is that We are depriving ourselves from that love that we deserve. Like you deserve that sweet and genuine relationship. You deserve somebody that wants you for you, that always saw the value in you. Somebody that you didn't have to prove yourself to. Somebody that you didn't have to chase. Somebody that you didn't have to show them like, hey, I am beautiful. I am smart. I am sweet. You should want to date me. Like I'm a good candidate. You deserve that guy who just wants to be with you. The guy that from the jump was like, I'm crazy about this girl. I see her value. I value this woman and I want to be with her. And that's why they're calling. That's why they're texting. That's why they're there and telling you like, I'm here. Obviously, if you don't find them attractive, if they're not the type of guy for you, then turn them down. Like, I'm not saying you need to be and get into a relationship with every single guy that tells you that they want you. No, but... Don't hold yourself back from those sweet and nice guys that do want you just because for some reason, I'm not a psychologist, I don't know why, but for some reason, we're more attracted to that bit of a chase. We're more attracted to the player. We're more attracted to the fuckboy. I don't know if it's just something that we've seen in movies a lot or if they're like hotter and the vibes. I don't know why, but... Like I said, I've talked to a lot of people about it recently and trying to like unlock the reason why girls do that. And I don't know, we came up with a bunch of different answers and a bunch of different reasons. I think it just has to do with this quote that says like, 
you accept the love you think you deserve. And for me, for example, like I was always very insecure growing up. So when a guy told me that I was beautiful, I didn't really believe them. When a guy told me like, you're really valuable, like I see, like I see you (laughs) for who you are and I think you're amazing. I didn't think that I was amazing. So that was confusing to me. (laughs) And that goes back to that quote of you accept the love you think you deserve. And if you don't think I'm an amazing person and I deserve all of that, then when that guy comes along that wants to give you that really beautiful relationship and is going to be a very good boyfriend, you're like, I don't deserve that. I'm going to go fight for the player. (laughs) So That's just sort of like the answer that I came up with. I'm sure that it's different for every single person. But the conclusion and the advice that I would give to you is obviously if to some level you are attracted to them, you do like them, just give them a chance. Just give the good guy a chance. The guy that really wants you for you, give them a chance. Don't deprive yourself from that amazing relationship because you do deserve that. You do deserve that kind of love. You do deserve somebody that sees you for who you are, values you, and you don't have to prove yourself to them. You don't have to fight for them. You don't have to chase them. So when you finally give, and I've seen it happen with a couple of my friends, when they finally gave those guys a chance, I never gave them a chance. (laughs) But when some of my friends... It happens to some of my friends. When some of my friends, there was this one guy chasing them after them, really sweet, really nice. They were cringed out about it. When they eventually gave them a chance, went on a date with them, started being more open to them, they ended up falling in love and having a really healthy and really good relationship. And they deserve that. My friends deserve that and you deserve that. But we're self-sabotaging ourselves and holding ourselves back from that amazing relationship that we could have. So I hope that that made sense. (laughs) It's hard to explain and like put into words why girls do that and why we do that. But point is, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about of that one guy that's after you and you don't want them and you're cringed out by them. I don't think you're really cringed out by them. I think it's just an unfamiliar feeling. I think a lot of the times we can't really believe as girls, like, really? You really like me? Just like that? Yeah, just like that. He really likes you just like that. So give him a chance. You deserve it. And stop wasting your time with a player because it's happened one in a million examples. It doesn't often happen that the big fuck boy in your class that he's going to end up turning into Prince Charming and wanting to be in a relationship with you. That doesn't really happen when you're a teenage girl. So don't waste your time with a player. Just go for the guy that actually sees you and values you and wants to be with you. If you're not attracted to them, then turn them down. But if to some level you do think they're good looking, you do think they're smart, you do think they're nice but you're just cringed out, don't let that like hold you back. Don't turn them down right away just because they're giving themselves to you in a silver platter and texting you all the time. I know it's cringy. Trust me, I've been there. (laughs) But you only find it cringy because you're not used to it, but you deserve it. So that would be my advice to you. And that's the advice that I give a lot of younger girls that I've talked to recently and have asked me like, I like him. He's nice. He's hot. He's smart, but he's crazy about me. And I don't like that. I'm like, what do you mean you don't like that? Like, stop. Don't be a dumbass. Just go for them. You deserve to be in a good relationship. Stop sabotaging yourself. Just be open because you deserve the good things that come along. That's what I told them. And I thought it was a really good thing to share with you guys. So that was it for this week. And I hope it made sense. I hope you guys were able to resonate with it. I know it can resonate with you. I know that right now you're probably thinking of the one guy that was always there or maybe right now it's happening to you. Maybe right now there's this one guy that just won't hop off because he really likes you. Give it a chance and let me know how it goes. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But don't close yourself off 
to the nice guys and to the good guys just because that's the way we've been wired as girls to find it cringy. Give it a try. Be open to it. You deserve love. You deserve a good guy in your life. But yeah, that was it for this week's episode. <laughs>